This is a bread soup with lots of garlic right. and poached eggs. Exactly. How nice. And it's uh, some of the, my favorite soups in all of both Italy and Spain are made of the cheapest, least expensive, most likely to find house ingredients. Most importantly, either water or just light broth. So the trick is, you start with a little olive oil. That was about uh, half a teaspoon. It's about a quarter of a cup. Quarter of a cup, okay. <laughs> and then you toast old bread. Now they use this traditionally, when, when you say old bread in Spain and in Italy, in Spain, old bread does not mean bad bread. No. It means bread that's just a day older, right. that's all. It gets hard, it doesn't taste funny, it doesn't get moldy tasting, it just becomes a different texture. And in fact, that's what we have going on right here. Okay, so just... Oh, and I'm going to add a little bit more oil so that we can get the garlic going. Now, we've taken eight cloves of garlic, and we've minced them up. And that's because raw garlic, although intriguing in concept, doesn't nearly as interest me as cooked garlic does. Me raw garlic is yeah. just a little... I, it's not very much fun. It's too strong. Right, it's very strong. And, and more pimenton. Exactly. Now, we're going to add a teaspoon of, of spicy pimenton. Okay. Keep in mind, they're spicy so come, and, okay, it comes and hot, sweet. Okay. But the spicy isn't like hot, hot, hot. Salt and pepper? Yes. Aggressive. Oh, aggressive. Yes. Okay, I'm going to be very aggressive. Not so much. There you yeah, go. That looks good. Beautiful. Already... Now we've toasted. Now you can smell that, right? You can smell oh, yeah. the garlic coming around. You want to make sure that it doesn't really brown, but that it picks up that pimenton and just becomes part of the stuff just like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take chicken stock, but they might just as easily use plain old ordinary water. Okay. And if they did, they would season it just a little bit more aggressively. So then we're going to do this. Now, if you want to get over there and poach an egg or two, oh, okay. we can do it two ways. Why don't we poke one in here right yeah, now? Yeah, let's do two in there, and I'll, right. I'll show how to poach eggs. You know, people people are so mystified with poaching eggs. It's so easy. So yes, they we are. Have so a, give us a little lesson We have over a there. simmering um, skillet of water here, about an inch of water, and I just drop the fresh, fresh egg. Do you put vinegar? Do you salt it or no, nothing? No, I don't do anything but... No tricks. This smells like it has vinegar in it, actually. And then take a spoon and just gently pull the white up over the yolk. So it looks perfect. What Perfection. do you have to do? Yeah. Now, how long will you poach that for? Well, just until it's done. <laughs> well, and for the home cook who might not know when that is. Well, firm, firm to the touch of a spoon, but not hard. You don't want it right, hard. Right, you don't want it egg. hard. And I have a bowl of ice water here because um, I just put the cooked eggs right into there, and you can keep them for a day even, um, and, and just drain them on a piece of paper towel. And so when Martha Stewart entertains at home and say does Eggs Benedict for the 35 people that right. show I up do. on the Sunday. I do, I don't Sunday. think I don't. No, I, do. I, I know you do. I do. So you can poach them the day before? Um, no, I do it real early You would early still in do morning. it in the morning in real yeah, time? Yeah, I just, I just love eggs so much that I like to treat them perfectly. See, now this is almost ready. Look how pretty it is. That's almost See, now done. that's perfect. Yeah. These now, do, can beautiful. you tell which egg comes from which chicken in your magnificent chicken coop? I coat? can, yes. But here, we have some more poached eggs here. But now you put it right in. I put it right in there, which is how they would really do it yeah. if it wasn't kind of a restaurant dish. Okay, but if you want this to be ultra, ultra fancy schmancy, you just right. put the cold cooked eggs, which will then warm And we're going to warm them through. Because although okay. a cold poached egg is a delicious thing, if you're having it in a bowl of soup, you want it to come up to soup yes, temperature. Yes, exactly. So I'm just going to kind of baste those guys mm. just a little bit like that and then take it to the bowl. I love this. It is so pretty. Here, it's I'm so easy and so the delicious. Other, the other poached eggs. Now all we really gotta do is taste that to make sure. The only crucial component here is to make sure you don't put any acidity in here. Naturally, my tendency would be, hey, let's squeeze a little lemon and maybe hit it with a little hot sauce, drop some fresh chilies on, but that wouldn't be a tiny at all. Let's see if you like the taste of that broth. Very tasty. Yes, and Eat actually, salt. a little more salt, right? Yep. Go ahead. Needs a little more salt. And I like pepper. And what's the green? The green is just a little parsley, oh, but you I don't like have that. to add anything at all. But I like a little yeah. herbaceousness to it. I like that, so too. So you spoon the egg in first. So this is a very nice, really oh, quick is... soup for um, winter consumption. Exactly. Absolutely delicious. Very simple. And then we're just going to finish it with a little olive oil and that parsley. And if you have consumption, it's probably a good soup exactly. for you. Exactly. It's totally healthy for you. Nobody has consumption anymore. I don't Thank think goodness. so. I don't even know what it is. TB. Is it? That's what it is. A little olive oil, mm. a little black pepper. Look at that. And just like on TV, it's done. So easy.